All right, everybody, welcome to Brow Edit tutorial number 15. This is to create a mini map for your particular custom map, doesn't matter what it is. And the breakdown for, th for this uh, particular tutorial will be looking like this. So black and white mini map, so you know, standard black and white mini map, pretty simple. The next thing we're gonna look at is how to create a colored mini map, and then finally how to actually install your mini map properly. So the mini map, the, or the most uh, important aspect of the mini map, is to make sure that your character, wherever it is on the map, is accurate to what the mini map is, is detecting you to be on. So you want to make sure that uh, you're on the exact point of that map, so it corresponds nicely. And that's really difficult, but there is a very easy way to actually do that. So let's get started with the black and white. As you can see, I'm going to use a program here. It's called Gat Walker, and this is what's going to do uh, actually be the number one. Uh, asset for actually uh, uh, detecting how our minimap is going to form. So black and white. So let's just go to File, Open, Desktop, find that minimap file, latchy.gat. Latchy so you're going to be opening your gat file, because the gat file is obviously where your walkable areas are. So as you can see, it opened up just nicely. And the important thing about this is you want to make sure that it's one pixel per tile. Now the reason why we have this option called one pixel per tile, per tile because that's going to determine our resolution of our BMP file that's uh, going to pop out. So if you look at if you have your uh, mouse over the map, you'll see that it it directly corresponds with the coordinates of this particular map, and then you also see that the total the total map size is 240 by 240. So that's that's what that's a reference gonna, that's what a reference is going to be 240 by 240 pixels because one pixel is, is equal to one tile which is one cat. Pretty simple. So how do we actually export this? It's pretty simple. Just go to extras, export as image, and just call the minimap the same name as your map, identical all the way, even even if it has a, a even to the character. So uppercase is very important, lowercase as well, and that's actually your minimap, and that's it. You're done. That's a black and white mini map. Pretty simple, nothing else to it. Now, what about making a color mini map? And this is where we have to use Brow Edit. So let's open up Latchy. So I kind of have it open right here. And the first thing you need to do is to choose whether you want to show objects or lights. So you can use a mini map that has lights on, like that. Just click L, or with objects like this. So just to make it uh, a, a little bit less, uh, or a little bit more efficient, when I go here, I'm going to go to top camera. So go to view, top camera, so we see the top of the map, and then just get a nice solid picture of it. You'll notice I have my yellow dot there, so let's get rid of that. View, show dot, get rid of that, so now we don't see the dot anymore. I'm going to choose to see my shadows and my lighting, as well as my objects, so I have a complete mini map. So get a nice picture of it. Make sure you get the, the most depth as you can before the borders disappear of your map. The moment you see the borders disappear, that's when you got to stop. you got to make sure you got the whole map there. So I just got it like that. Next thing we're going to do is hold Alt, Print Screen. So it just takes a screenshot of the window presented in Brow Edit. And then we're going to save it in a BMP file or a, any kind of image file. So like that. Edit. Just paste that. Control V. And there's our map. So now just, let's just drag the borders to the very end of the map to the top of our and this paint thing right there. So that's about uh, try to do your best because it's pretty important to get it right on the dot. I just opened it up there a little bit more. I'm trying to keep this inside the video so you can you guys can all see it. And then I'm going to drag this part over. So I close off the window side like that. Lastly, you're gonna go like this. Close off this part of the mini map. So we, so as long as we still have a complete picture, that's what the important thing is. Now, if you guys are Photoshop users and you know there's an easier way to do this, by all means do it. I'm just using p uh, Paint for simplicity's sake. Because not everybody has Photoshop. And then just one more take like that. Perfect. All right. So, I believe I have the full picture, but you also notice that it's still off its coordinates, which it should be 240 by 240. So we're going to click the button Resize up here, and change that to 240 by 240. So, hey, look at that. I'm actually right almost on there. So I'm going to go like that, and just get rid of the Maintain Aspect Ratio, and just type in 240. Hit OK. 
and now our map, mini map is now resized to its proper pixel de uh, pixel density. So let's just save that. Let's go to Latchy again. Give it the same name. Now obviously it's going to replace it, so that's fine. Whatever. Hit yes. Now if we go back to the Latchy folder, let's take a look. It is 240 by 240, and that's exactly what we want. And there's our mini map. So now let's actually test this in game. But before we do that, let me just double check the properties here and make sure it's correct. Yep, 24 bit, that's what we want. So now that we learned how to do black and white and colored minimaps, how do you install this? Well, if obviously the first thing to do is create a data folder because everything goes into the data folder whenever you read uh, any kind of client file. So, data folder. So, let's just drag our minimap into our pre made data folder. Next thing you want to do is create a new folder called texture. Put that in there. And then, obviously, this is a little bit of Unicode here. Unicode, so Lachi goes in there. I'm pretty sure you know what that is. I'll just post this on the description of our video as well, so you know what's actually going on. And then lastly, map. Just drop that in map, and that's how you install your mini map. So simply, you know, prepare the same way I did in your data folder, whatever your your client is reading, and it should read your mini map just fine. So now let's detect and see how our mini map is presented in game. The same one that we just made. All right, so I just opened up my client. Just ignore the map that you see there, just something I've been working on. And now we're going to warp to Latchy. So I installed everything. Let's see if this works. But you know what? <laughs> looks like I didn't even install the map. Okay, give me one second. Alright, so it looks like it's working now. Okay, so let's test out our mini map. Let's see how accurate it is. So as you can see, my mini map has shown at the very top hand corner of the map. Let's zoom in. So it says that we're right at the right in front of the lighthouse, which it it's actually correct. It looks like it's working nicely. So if we if we just follow our trail down here, you notice that there should be a tree here, and I am not going into the tree, which is good, and that's what the mini map is telling me. Might be a little difficult to see, but you can tell that it is working nicely. Yep, that's that's correct. There's your uh, your bin or your whatever that the cart is. Yeah, so it looks like our mini map is working nicely. It's definitely detecting our our area of uh, of walking, and there is supposed to be a well here, and it looks like the well is being detected just fine. And there's a tent over here too. Perfect. Yeah, so that's actually how you make a, a proper mini map. You could see it's working, and uh, you know how to make a color mini map. You know how to make a black and white mini map, and you know how to install it properly. So guys, get to it, and uh, I guess yeah, look forward to my to see my next Borat tutorial. And if you have any, uh, if you want, if you want to, if you want to request any future tutorials, by all means, pr please uh, you know message me on the forums, or uh, just leave a leave a comment in the in my guide to my tutorial guide section in the in the map release section of the forums as well. All right, take care and have a great day.